watching Tell me who's watching Who's watching me To our honorees, your efforts have been recognized because of you've made a difference in our neighborhood In our police precincts, in our firehouses, in our military, in our civic associations And each of these honorees here tonight have made contributions to our community that have made our small part of the world a better place to live, work, and to raise a family. Our honorees today, Richard Cannon, New York City Fire Department, Holy Name Society, and Emerald Society. Round of applause, stand up there. <laughs> Martin Conley, Fire Department, New York Coast Guard, Court Club, and American Legion. Martin, stand up. Kevin Cottingham, NYPD, retired, I guess, great Irish fair, and presently a teacher at St. Antonatius. Right over there, give him a round of applause. <laughs> this guy keeps calling me Joe Fox. I have no idea why he keeps on trying to call me, but I'm sure that he's trying to say either he can't be here or that he's on his way and he's late. And a great, great lady, Maureen Schranke from Bay Ridge Community Board 10, Brooklyn DA's office. Give her Maureen. <laughs> Maureen Volgannon Schranke. Give her a round of applause. Each of the honorees, in addition to their community involvement, has distinguished being part of the great Irish community whose roots run deep in our city. Thomas Cahill wrote of how the Irish saved civilization. I believe this holds true for our community as well. Irish immigrants built this city. They made up its police force, its fire departments, its schools. We are here today to celebrate the impact the Irish have left, not only on our community, but here in the great city and in our great nation. Since 1845, the Irish have been a major presence in this city. The culture, the traditions of family, faith, and hard work flooded into this city. Irish culture took hold on our shores over 165 years of our heritage remains strong. Irish Americans today share the legacy of such great leaders as Emin de Valgren, Al Smith, Nellie Bly, Dan Patrick Moynihan, and others whose visions and determination changed America forever. Today we see Irish Americans as part of our entire city from members of the fire department, the police department, and from members of our armed forces, the former president, and even a few of the New York State Senators, very few unfortunately, share their culture of heritage of Ireland. Our celebration of Irish culture stems from the celebration of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, who spread Catholicism throughout this country. In America, we celebrate not only St. Patrick's Day, but the impact Ireland has had on all of us and continues to have on all of us. So again, to all of the honorees, I say thank you. Thank you for the work that you have done for our community. And I encourage you to continue to do so and to inspire others to join you. But together, we can continue to keep this neighborhood the best in our city. The Irish, they said, owned this city. We don't own it anymore. But uh, we built it. And I can honestly tell you, the coming from my parents who came here in the 1940s, they actually came here with that, you know, that lottery that you see, that little slogan you see, a dollar and a dream. Well, the dollar worked and the dream came true. And today, they had eight children, born in ten years, no twins. <laughs> and mom was quite busy. So was dad. He, uh, so, those kids all went on to be the policemen or whatever in our community, business owners and don't live, many of them reside here today. But being able to do that, and of course bring that culture with them, each one of my brothers and sisters is required to learn how to play an instrument for dance, or end dance. Well, being the oldest was not very good in a family that you were supposed to be able to play an instrument and dance. But 14 or 15, before they figured out I had two left feet, and it's in here. So it was a painful few years there. But the, uh, the rest of them went on to play, and today they still play and dance, and uh, we're proud that they're able to pass that culture and those traditions in that family to themselves, but down to their children, and hopefully down to their children's children. And I see Chief Joe Fox walking in the door, 
So why don't we give Chief Joe Fox a round of applause? I'm just an average man with an average life. life.